at another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I'm going to do in this uh, video is show you how to find the area of a circle. So it's actually pretty easy um, if you know how to use the formula. So it's always good to know what the formula is. So the area of a circle, and can we go ahead and write that down here, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so let's just um, real quick take a look at what that uh, formula means. Okay, so pi all right, pi is just a number. Okay, it's an irrational number. It just means a num it's a decimal that keeps going forever. But we can go ahead and just um, use a real rough estimation of the value of pi being 3.14. Now, if you have your calculator, um, most calculators, especially scientific calculators, you can pull up a very accurate, um, a much more accurate um, uh, value of pi. Okay, so that's what this symbol is right here. Okay, this just represents this. Now. I want to kind of stick with this uh, value of pi real quick and just show you why it's 3.14, etc., etc., etc. Okay, because remember this this decimal keeps going forever. All pi is okay. If you take any circle, okay, you take any circle and you take this measurement. Okay, this measurement is called the circumference. If you just you know get like a, a tape measure or something and you just took a measurement of this, okay, and then you said, all right, I got the uh, measurement, you know, I know how many centimeters or inches the whole circumference of the circle is, and then you took the diameter, which is the width of the circle, okay? So if you took the circumference, which is this distance all around, and you divide it by the diameter, well, guess what number you're going to get? You're going to get like 3.1415, and it kind of goes on and on forever, okay, all to infinity. So instead of writing infinite amount of digits, uh, people were smart enough to say, you know what, let's just call this whole number, let's just give it like a symbol, and we give it the symbol pi, okay? So that's where that number comes from, okay, that value. It's super important mathematics, so, um, you know, you want to be able to uh, certainly be familiar with where it, uh, I think the history of the number, okay, or where it comes from. Okay, so we kind of get back to our problem here. All right, so we have pi, oops, I've got to kind of, Put my pi back in there. Okay. All right. So area of a circle equals pi r squared. Now r, okay, r is the radius. So let's talk about this real fast. Okay. So here the diameter is the is the width of the circle. Okay. It's it's um, you know the technical thing is the largest chord in the circle. I don't like to get too technical when I'm teaching this stuff. It's just the basic. That's the width of the circle. Okay. The widest part of the circle. Now. If, for example, the diameter here is 10 centimeters, the radius is half of the circle, okay? Or, excuse me, half of the diameter. So this would be the radius. Now, a good way to think of the radius is this. If I said, here, here's a compass, okay? You probably know what a compass is. You played with them, I'm sure, in class before. It has a little, like, ink thing right here, or, or a pencil and a little pointy thing, and then what you do is you twist this thing around, right, to draw something. So if I said, if you take this compass on your piece of paper and draw a circle, you would say, okay, I would just arc around and I would draw my circle like so, right? Okay, as I t twist this thing around. Well, this distance right here, okay, this distance or the distance you open up the compass is the radius, okay? So the radius is emanates from the center of a circle. All right, so you probably knew that. And I'm assuming that you, that uh, most of you out there know. But for those of you who don't, you know, this is important stuff because you won't know how to use the formula if you don't know what the radius is. Okay. So here's a circle. I want to know the area of the circle. Its, t uh, its diameter is 10 centimeters. So what is its radius? Well, the radius is always one half of the diameter. Okay. So that's something you need to know. So in this case, it'd be five centimeters. So all we need to do is use our formula, area equals pi r squared. So that's gonna be pi r is five centimeters. I'm just gonna plug in five here, okay? Squared, so the area is equal to pi times 25, okay? Now, I'm gonna take this a step further. If I was your math teacher and you gave me this answer, 25 pi, I would give you almost, almost full credit, okay? Now you can go into your calculator and take 25 and multiply it by 3.14, you know, another value and give me a full decimal, you know, number for this might be like 76 point something or the other. I don't really care about that, okay? But what I do care about 
is for you to put the proper units of measure. Okay, so we're talking about area, and area is units that's units of measure are squared. So if the distance here was uh, five centimeters, I want to see your area being 25 pi centimeters squared. Okay. All right. So hopefully, uh, you know, you got it, you got something out of this video. Um, please come by our website, algebratesthelper.com. Got tons and tons of uh, other uh, videos, other awesome tutorials, all designed uh, to make math uh, easy to learn. All right. So take care. Good luck.